Hi, I've made a lot of spreadsheets for event shops. My oldest one was for CC0 Baronland over four years ago, and I've made dozens of them since then, about 70 in total at this point. My earlier sheets would take hours to make, with a lot of manually typing numbers from GamePress. Over the years, I've made a bunch of cool programs and tools to speed things up, and these days it only takes a few minutes to make one. Today I'll walk you through my modern process of making a new spreadsheet and show off some of the cool stuff behind the scenes. The Lone Trail rerun is coming up later next month, so I'll make a spreadsheet for that. To start, I'll make a copy of a similar spreadsheet. Let's use this one for the What the Firelight Casts rerun. Don't worry, I'll explain how it works as I go along. I use the Chinese PRTS wiki for future event data, and if we scroll down, this event shop has a similar format to what the Firelight casts. We've got the normal farmable items, tokens for the welfare op, headhunting permits, and furniture that gives intelligence certs to older players. This means the format of the spreadsheet is already mostly done, and I just have to replace the actual numbers. To start, I'll use my Moon Cell Scraper tool to extract data from this wiki page. This is a custom Python program that I've coded up so I don't have to type in numbers manually. It reads the HTML code of the page, looks for the shop table, and formats it into a CSV file. Now we can open the file in Excel and copy the numbers over. For farmable items with sanity values, I'll paste the item names here in this hidden column. Shop prices and other numbers go to the left over here. The scraper also spits out a list of URLs for furniture images. These get pasted over here, and the spreadsheet renders them in the table. Notice how the sheet automatically calculates sanity values. If I copy the item names over to this column, it also starts showing the icons and some shortened versions of all the item names that can fit into the table cells. The wiki doesn't do sanity value calculations, so you may be wondering how the spreadsheet can do this. All this data is stored in this hidden tab of the spreadsheet. The main tab uses the VLOOKUP function to search through these two tables and find the right values. For example, for bipolar nanoflix, it'll look down the left column for the item name, find that they're worth about 241 sanity, and put that value up here. The efficiency is then calculated by dividing the sanity value by how much it costs in the shop. The table on the right holds URLs for the icon images and what I call short names, shortened versions and abbreviations of item names that I've manually set to make sure they fit in the cells. The main tab uses more VLOOKUP functions to display these in the table. So now you may be wondering, where did these lookup tables come from? If I click into these cells, we see a pair of import range functions. These import data from two other spreadsheets that I've created, which I call interface spreadsheets. These days, all of my spreadsheets pull data from these two files. And when I make a copy of a shop spreadsheet, it's already linked to the interface sheets. These interface spreadsheets exist so that I can manage the data for all of my sheets in one place, which saves a lot of time when I need to update something. Sanity values can change when new stages are added, and sometimes Yostar decides to change item names around. Y'all remember when these were called electro assemblies? When something like this happens, instead of having to edit dozens of spreadsheets one by one, I can just go into one of the interface sheets, make an edit, and all of the shop spreadsheets will update automatically. Let's look at the images and short names interface first. It's just a big table with all the items my spreadsheets need. This column has all the short names, which I have to set manually. For the image URLs, I currently use HShip's GitHub repo, but I can change to a different source if they go offline or something. I just have to edit this cell, and it looks in the spreadsheet tab with the same name for the URL. For example, here's how I can swap to using the new GamePress site for green EXP cards. And now all of my shot spreadsheets will use the new image. But it's got some weird transparency issues, so let's change it back. Now let's look at the sandy values interface sheet. It's another big table, but with sandy values instead. 
Most of these numbers are pulled from Mo's farming spreadsheet with more import range functions. Some of these values are calculated by the sheet itself, like the value of LMD. And for base mats, I use more import range functions to pull them from my 9-color deer spreadsheet. This backup tab has hard-coded numbers that don't depend on import range functions. So if something happens to Mo's spreadsheet, for example, the main tab will automatically switch to the backup numbers, and my shop spreadsheets won't all break at once. The backup tab doesn't stay up to date with changing sanity values, so whenever a new chapter comes out or something, I come here and manually copy over values from the main tab to the backup. Now that we know where the lookup tables come from, let's go back to the new sheet I'm making. To finish up the top table, I'll color code the elite materials based on tier. To sort these rows, I'll move this middle section out of the way, then select both parts of the entire table, and sort by sanity per coin. And now I can move the middle section back. Now I'll change out puzzles tokens for silence altars. These are 6 star tokens, so they cost a bit more. And I'll use the image URL from the wiki for the icon. Now for the furniture, I've already got the icon images set up, so I'll just copy the rest of the data from the scraper CSV. For the intelligent certs, I have to manually look at the wiki page and type them in. And now we can sort this table by certs per coin. And the shop table is done. So this is what goes into each shop spreadsheet I make. It's a pretty fast and painless process that I've slowly developed over almost five years of playing Arknights. It's not perfect, and there are some places that I could improve, like how I still have to manually add colors and icons to some of the cells. But these tools still save me tons of time compared to typing in item names and numbers one by one. There's more cool stuff that I haven't shown, like how the final video gets made, or how I calculate stage efficiencies with a different Python tool. But this is mostly important stuff for the spreadsheet itself. This Lone Trail spreadsheet should be linked below in the description if you want to take an early look at it. As usual, I'll have a video up when the event actually starts next month. But for now, click the buttons below that make my numbers go up, and I'll see you in the next video.